Dr. Benjamin Dover here. As we draw a close to the year 2013, we have 2014 on the horizon. And yet, with 2014 just around the corner, I can't help but feel as though certain things have been left unsaid, business left unfinished. So, I took the liberty of drawing up a couple of things that I want to address before 2014 gets here. <clears throat> the first thing I'd like to address is some of the comments people have been making about some of the things that I have. First of all, people have been wondering, what is this thing and why do you have it in your mouth? It's a pipe. I put it in my mouth because that's where it goes. As far as what kind of pipe it is, I smoke cheese with it. Yeah, because that's how I roll. Secondly, people would like to know why I have a sonic screwdriver. Well, the joke's on you, people. Doctor Who has a sonic screwdriver, and look how far that's gotten him. I, on the other hand, have a sonic wrench. Wrench! <clears throat> the second thing I would like to get to. Many of you recall earlier this year, the entertainment industry lost an actor. They lost a lot of actors this year, but for some reason, this particular actor got all the press about it. I'm, of course, talking about Paul Walker, to which I have to ask the following question. Who in the hell is Paul Walker? Seriously, who is this guy? I have never even heard of this guy until he died, which is pretty sad. I understand he had something to do with Fast and the Furious. whoop de doo I never watched Fast and the Furious. What else was he in? Throw something. You guys are making it out like Tom Cruise died, which I would start a freaking parade over, to be honest with you, with a big alien float with him getting beamed up and getting a nice big fat animal pro. Bottom line, and you know, while I'm on the subject of Paul Walker, why is it whenever a celebrity dies, they instantly have to have their own charity? Seriously, what? Why do they need their own charity? Chris Farley got his own charity when he died. What is it for? Uh, 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 drug addicts? I can understand that, but I understand Paul Walker's charity is the Reach Out Pro. And no, I'm not hating on charities. They do fine work for a lot of people. I just don't understand why every single celebrity needs their own charity. Just saying. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to complain about? Ah, uh, yes. Fads from the old days, like the late 90s and early 70s, making a comeback. We've all seen it. Furbies, big headphones. I've always been told that time runs like a straight line, but it seems to me like it's running like a friggin' bicycle right now. I mean, what's next? Guys on roller skates are going to be skating around in short shorts? What is this, San Francisco? God. Let's see. Number four, racism. Come on, guys. We really need to put the racism thing behind us. This isn't the 60s anymore. We need to let it go. And it's not just white people who need to let it go. All races need to let it go. Now, before you even go there and say, oh, you're being racist, I am not a racist. I hate everybody. You see, my thing is, I think that black people would not be so offended by the N-word if they, if it had another meaning. You know, uh, take us white people, for instance. One of the one things that black people likes to call a white person, a cracker. But you see, most of us white people take that in stride. You know why? Because cracker doesn't just mean a white person, it also means a salty, tasty treat. So when somebody walks by and says, what up, cracker? I'm like, yes. Yes, what indeed up? What is the deal with crackers? They're salty. They go good with cheese. What's not to love? And uh, what else? Uh, Asians. People like calling Asians chinks. I don't know why. Because when you think about it, chink is also the sound that coins can make when they drop across the metal surface. Yeah. See why some Asian people don't even get offended by that? But with the N-word... Yeah, there's really not any other way to describe that other than to offend a black person. Which is why I think that if we had something else that the N-word meant, maybe black people wouldn't be so offended. Like, uh, maybe we could invent a chocolate cake 
filled with uh, with cream or jelly or something. Everybody likes cake. You know, you'd be walking down the street and be like, you know what I could really go for? A nice, delicious nig. Yeah, I want a nig too. See, you can't get offended because they're meaning cake, not trying to insult someone. I'm just saying, just throwing it out there. And uh, let's see. Uh, talked about that, talked about that. Um, definitely talked about that one. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to address on this list was something very special that I need to talk about, and that is whiners. Oh my god, the whiners. You may not be aware of this, but there are an awful lot of people whining out there. I read an article in the paper, it was an older one, but it said that a woman was fired from her job because she was too sexy. Really? You gotta fire her because she's too hot? Sounds to me like that might be a benefit to your business if you ask me. Oh, but get this, the guy said it was a threat to his marriage. Well, maybe if you should hit, maybe if you hit the sack more than you did the punching bag, you wouldn't have that kind of problem. And uh, who else has been a, the gays? Gays have been whining. Gays were complaining, and it led to one of those Duck Dynasty guys getting thrown off their show. As a result, they don't want to do their show anymore without Phil Robertson. First of all, nobody cares about Phil Robinson. But those of you who do, oh my God. Stop whining about it. It happened. Move on. You think they would act this way if Oprah, uh, not Oprah, Whoopi Goldberg got kicked off The View? Of course not. But of course, but of course, A&D is doing everything they can to try and compensate for the loss in ratings, which they undoubtedly have got, because they have been running nothing but Duck Dynasty for as long as I can fucking remember. A&E, nobody gives a shit about your lost ratings. Your channel sucks anyway. It's nothing but stupid reality shows with even stupider people. <sighs> well, I think that pretty much takes care of it. You know, I feel a whole lot better now. So, from all of us here at Danger Zone Productions and Channel Zero, let me just say to you all, I hope you had a good 2013. I hope your 2014 is good. And until then, <laughs> Happy New Year. May all your women be forgotten.